here in Avondale, which is one of the hardest hit areas after the earthquakes. Uh, we're here on site in a house in Wainoni. We're going to fix a place which has problems with its windows, has still got leaks in the roof, and it has draft problems. So we'll be uh, re temporarily repairing those uh, so that Darren and his family can get through the through the winter with um, a little more warmth and a little more comfort. Hello, my name's Darren Drake, and we're four years on from the quake now, and we have Find and Fix here to do some work on our property. Um, young man is planning and trying to rework the windows for us, also do some draft stopping inside. Um, we have four leaks in the roof which the guys have also offered to fix for us. Um, we currently have a demolition date of September for a rebuild on our property. Thank you to Find and Fix really for coming out and, and doing the work for us. It's a, it's, it's a good thing. Hi, I'm Paul from City Care. Um, we're currently doing this Find and Fix initiative to um, get people warm and dry for the winter because it's a cold day here in Christchurch and anything that we can do to help people in cold drafty homes we are trying our best to do. There's still a number of places in Christchurch which still have problems. Uh, 900 houses have um, come through the Find and Fix campaign and we will actually fix around 500 ourselves. Uh, the other 400 will be taken up by insurers uh, doing those repairs or actually rebuilding the houses or some of them actually have been settled already. As you can probably imagine it's a bit strange four years on that we're still actually doing temporary repairs but they will actually still continue for another year or two uh, as people have to wait. It just takes a long time and so the Final Fix campaign is definitely necessary to give people more comfort as they are waiting for their proper repairs or the rebuilds of their houses.